Well, the transfer window has closed and our 2022-23 League One campaign is underway. But how has it started? Am I having fun in Fratton or has it been poor at Pompey? Let's go and find out. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and a very happy new year to you all. Now it's been a little while since you last saw me, but I'm back and I am ready to make 2023 a big year on the content front, starting with today's episode where I'm going to show you all of our transfer activity ahead of season one. I'm going to run through all of our early season results. I'm going to show you a quick look at the league table and then we have two games for you today. So if this sounds like an enjoyable episode, then please guys, leave today's episode a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. But now it's time we head into FM23 as we begin episode 2 of Hometown Glory. So a quiet summer window saw no players join the club, although we did offer terms to out-of-contract defender Andre Wisdom following a successful trial period at the club but he chose to join championship side Sunderland over a move to the south coast. We did manage to offload some deadwood though. Ryan Tunnicliffe joined Shrewsbury Town in a deal worth £70,000 and Kieran Freeman headed across the border to Aberdeen for a deal worth £120,000. We also let a few academy players go out and loan to gain some much needed first team experience over the course of the season. Moving on to our recent results now and you can see we had a pretty packed pre-season schedule. There was two reasons for that, fitness and finances. And they both worked. The squad was fully fit for the start of the season. And finances, we made just over £370,000 out of all those friendlies. And you can see it was a pretty successful pre-season campaign as well. Only losing three games to Feyenoord, SC Maitland and Westerloo. We scored quite a few goals, hitting five past the Enza. Five past Tranmere, four past Gosport Borough, six past Basingstoke, four past Leighton Orient, 17 past Moneyfields, and six past Colchester. So, all round, a pretty successful pre season. We started our League One campaign away to Sheffield Wednesday, and it was our game we won 2 1. Colby Bishop and Rico Hackett on the score sheet there. We then played Lincoln at home and beat them 5 1. Michael Morrison got a goal, Colby Bishop got a hat-trick, and I think it was Dane Scarlett who got the fifth. We then went away to Birmingham in the Carabao Cup. We give them a good game, drawing one all, but ultimately we lost 5-3 on penalties. We then headed away to Cheltenham in the league and suffered our first defeat in League One this season losing the game 3-2. Rico Hackett and Ronan Curtis on the score sheet for us. We then had two home games on the bounce. And the first, Cambridge United, we beat them 6-3. Colby Bishop hitting a hat-trick in that game. We then had Bristol Rovers at home, who we beat 3-1, courtesy of Rico Hackett, Marlon Pack, and another Colby Bishop goal. We then went away to Port Vale in League One. We won 2-0. Josh Caroma got the first. Michael Jacobs got the second. And then... We played Cheltenham again away in the Papa John's Trophy. We won 3-2 this time. Ronan Curtis with a penalty and Colby Bishop hitting a brace, which is his 10th and 11th goal of the season already just in the first month. And that leads us to today's games versus Peterborough at home and then away to Barnsley. So let's go and take a quick look at the league table after the first month of the season. So as you can see, our fine start to the season sees us sitting top of League One, having won five out of our first six games. Second place is Wickham Wanderers, who only lead third place Peterborough United on goal difference. Fourth is MK Dons, fifth is Ipswich Town, and making up the playoff places in sixth place is Charlton Athletic, only on goal difference though, as 7th place Oxford United and 8th place Barnsley both have 10 points also. And shockingly, you can see total favourite Sheffield Wednesday sat rooted to the bottom of the league and they haven't even won a single game yet this season. But it's still early doors, a lot of games to play and a lot of things can change. But finally, it is time to see our first starting lineup of the series as we take on third place Peterborough United. And here it is in goal, Josh Griffiths. 
At left back is Connor Ogilvy. Your central defensive partnership today is Sean Raggett and Michael Morrison. And at right back is Joe Rafferty. In midfield, we have Marlon Pack and Tom Lowry. On the left wing is Ronan Curtis. On the right is Rico Packett. And up top is Colby Bishop and Josh Caroma. On the bench is Josh Ulleriemi, Denver Hume, Zach Swanson, Jay Mingi, Michael Jacobs, Owen Dale and Joe Piggott. I'm off to give the team talk to the lads. Hopefully I can gear them up and get them a win. And I will see you on the touchline of Fratton Park. So it is underway here at Fratton Park. And we have a throw in on the right hand side. Joe Rafferty to Michael Morrison. Across to Sean Raggett. He holds onto the ball back to Pack and he's dispossessed by Marriott in the middle. Come on, Pack, winning. Oh, great tackle there by Marlon Pack. But it's walled out on the right hand side for Peterborough early on. Five minutes in, he's got the cross and it's cleared. Out to Connor Ogilvy. Up to Ronan Curtis, who's got space to run. He finds Josh Caroma out on the left hand side. He cuts in, plays a ball over to Rico Hackett and is dispossessed. Good start here. Only the one, sh one shot and goal so far, the one highlight. But Peter have a free kick now, floated into the box. And it's high and over the bar. Oh, that was a, a close call there. We need to up our game if we're going to win here. Show some demand more to the boys. Free kick just inside the Peter half now. Fuchs plays long ball over to Ward. He gets there ahead of Conor Ogilvy, but Morrison heads away. Back out to Ward on the right-hand side, who finds Jay Taylor. You can cut inside and shoot high over the bar. Peterborough all over us at the minute. But we have a throw in on the right hand side. Marlon Pack to Colby Bishop. Back to Marlon Pack who finds Tom Lowry on the edge of the box. And it's just wide from Tom Lowry there. Oh, come on Pompey. So the long goal kick up towards Marriott who wins the header down to Taylor. Ben Thompson in the middle. And it's Fuchs. Wants out to Burrows, but it's intercepted by Rico Hackett, who charges at the defence down the right-hand side. Come on, get the ball in the box. Come on. Oh, he's dispossessed. He took too long. That was poor from Rico Hackett. It's up to Poku now. Marriott just inside the Peterborough half. Ben Thompson over the top to Poku down on the left-hand side. Can Joe Rafferty catch him? No, he's into the box. He's going... He's... And that was a great save by Josh Griffiths to keep us at 0-0. Poor look to Peterborough. We're against the posh here. Going to need to do something in a minute. Change it up tactically. or Because they are getting chance after chance after chance right now. We haven't even had a sniff. It's another corner to Peterborough. Floated in by Burrows. Headed away. Only as far as Fuchs. Just on the left hand side. Burrows to get the ball in. And it's 1-0 to Peterborough. Jack Marriott's first goal of the season. And we find ourselves behind. Come on, Pompey. Demand more now. We have a throw in. It's Marlon Pack. Down to Josh Caroma. Back to Pack. Rafferty. Cutting inside. Joe Rafferty. He's got nowhere to go. And he plays the ball straight to Taylor. That was poor. Very poor from Joe Rafferty. Taylor to Ward. And Peterborough breaking now. We can't afford to go two down here. Fuchs into Poku. And safe hands, Josh Griffiths. Come on, Pompey. Ben Taylor. Fuchs over the top again towards Marriott. But we win the header this time. But Ben Thompson dispossesses Pack in the middle. And charges towards goal. Out to Poku on the right hand side. Marriott in on goal. And it's 2-0. This isn't going exactly how we need it to. We need to get back into the game here somehow. It's been poor from us this first half. Ragan, Tom Lowry, Michael Morrison, out to Joe Rafferty, Rico Hacken, back to Joe Rafferty, over the top towards Colby Bishop. He gets the ball just inside the box. Can he shoot? Great save. Oh no, it's not even a save, it's a goal kick. It is just not going our way today. Not going our way at all. I think I'm going to have to change it tactically at half time. Demand more for the rest of the first half. And that's half time, 1 0. Let's go talk to the boys. 
change it up tactically, and I shall see you for the second half. So the second half is underway, and we have changed to a 4-2-3-1 to try and get something out of this game. So we need two goals in this second half. And it doesn't look like we're going to get them. There have been no highlights whatsoever yet. And it is time for some substitutions. So we are going to take off Colby Bishop. Bring on jo uh, Joe Pickett. We're going to bring on Michael Jacobs. And we're going to bring on Owen Dale. Just to try and give some attacking oomph into this team. Tell them to... Uh, Go out and make a real difference for us today. And hopefully they actually can and we can get something out of this game. Because we are not playing too well right now. We've been battered, if anything. 18 shots they've had. We're meant to be the home team. We ain't getting nothing out of this. 10 minutes to go. And it's a free kick to Peterborough. We have been poor. We're going to have to really improve against Barnsley if we're going to get anything out of that. Oh, great tackle. Owen Dale out on the right hand side. Just it over to Judge Cromer, who just can't get there first. And that is typical of the game we're having. Marriott into the box, and it's 3 0. This has been absolutely shocking from Pompey. Not happy in the slightest. What can you do? And they just play better than us. This is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Into injury time, three minutes, and it finishes. Portsmouth nil, Peterborough three. And we've lost top spot to Peterborough just to add insult to injury. I'm going to give the boys a right rollicking because they definitely deserve it. What a poor game. So as you can see, after that dismal performance against Peterborough, they have overtaken us to top spot and we dropped to second place. But it is now time to go and see the starting lineup to face Barnsley. So the team to face Barnsley is in goal, Josh Griffiths. At left back, Clark Robertson. In central defence is Sean Raggett and Michael Morrison. And at right back, Zach Swanson. In midfield, we have Tom Lowry and Marlon Pat. On the left wing is Josh Coroma. On the right wing, Owen Dale. In attacking midfield is Michael Jacobs. And leading the line on his own is Dane Scarlett. On the bench, we have Josh Uluwayemi, Connor Ogilvie, Joe Rafferty, Joe Morrell, Ronan Curtis, Rico Hackett and Joe Piggott. Now, I'm off to chat to the boys. Hopefully, we can get a win this game. Can't be as bad as we were against Peterborough. And I'll see you on the touchline at Oakwell. So we're underway here at Oakwell. We're going to show some encouragement to the boys. Hopefully have a better game than we did against Peterborough. It's George Griffiths now. Out to Clark Robertson. Who finds Sean Ragger inside. Sean Ragger, long ball forward to Dave Scarlett. It's full of goal. Checks the keeper. Six more nil Pompey. Within five minutes, Dave Scarlett gives us the lead. Get in there. Hopefully there's more to come. We started well. We're going to demand more from the boys. We want a big win here today. We want to go back top of the league. Clark Robertson now throw into Raggett. And it's Josh Coromo skips past the challenge. Michael Jacobs runs into trouble, but escapes with the ball. But Dane Scarlett is dispossessed. And it's Kane now. Finds Cole to Jay Williams. Edwards. He turns and nearly loses the ball. Kane. Michael Jacobs slides, but doesn't get the ball. Cundy. Back to Edwards. Edwards runs forward, pass it to Canal. Over the top towards Cole, who is through on goal. And hits the post, cleared by Robertson. Only as far for a throw in. Out on the left hand side for Barnsley. But that is the end of the highlight there. So a good start to the game. We've had a couple of worries already as well. We want to demand more for the boys. We need to be winning this. We need to stay in touch at the top of the league. We want to get out of this division. So, we've only lost two out of the first seven games. So, we're in good form. There's Candy now over the top towards Cole, but Sean Raggett's there with the head. 
picked up by Serjan. Out to Williams on the left-hand side now for Barnsley. He gets his cot in and it's saved by Josh Griffiths. Now, is he going to roll it or kick it? He's going to kick it long. And it's towards the head of Coroma. He doesn't get there, but it's Tom Lowry in the middle. He plays the ball through Tyron Dale. He shoots and misses. That was a golden opportunity for us there. Well, that could have been 2 0. Oh, come on, boys. Come on, boys. It looks like Dane Scarlett stuffed a knock, but nonetheless, we'll see if he makes the second half. I'm going to go talk to the boys, and I'll see you for the second half. So we get the second half started now. We'll show some encouragement to the team. Hopefully, we can go out, get the second goal, really put this game to bed. But there's been no highlights in the first 10 minutes. But we have a throw in now. It's Marlon Pack. Launches it long, but Anderson had to clear. And it's nice Tom Lowry. Michael Jacobs. Oh, saved by Collins in the Barnsley goal. It's team B substitution of clock. We'll see who's going to come on. But it's Marlon Pack in the middle now. Put his ball over towards Coroma, but it doesn't reach him. And Williams can run down the right hand side for Barnsley. Back to Edges now, Pull, pulls the ball over to Tenich, and he is covered. Oh no, he's got the ball back Norwood, and it is one all. What a sloppy goal to concede. We've been conceding all sorts of goals all season. All season. It's starting to really bug me now. A sloppy goal, stupid mistakes that are costing us points. But it's substitution o'clock, so we're going to go and wait for this highlight first, actually. Never sub on a highlight. It's Jack Swanson. Down the line to Arendale. Can he get the ball in the box? No, he gets it across Tom Lowry on the edge of the box. He shoots. Oh, and it hits the crossbar. And it is now substitution o'clock. So we'll go and change things up a little bit. We're going to bring Rico Hackett on for Arendale. We are going to change it two up top, I think. Bring the second striker on in Joe Piggott. And we're going to bring Ronan Curtis on for Josh Karoma. And we're going to give Marlon Pack a little break as he is replaced by Joe Morrell. We're going to tell them that they can go and make the difference. And hopefully they will do just that. We don't need to be drawing this game. We need a win. Demand more from the team. I hope. I pray we can get this second goal. Ten minutes to go now. And it's Griffiths with the goal kick. He fires it up long. Scarlett wins the header. It's Joe Morrell. Tom Lowry to Joe Piggott. Back to Tom Lowry. Roman Curtis. Plays the ball through to Stay Scarlett. Who knocked it just wide. That could have been the chance that won the game. We're going to bring Ogilvy on for Morrison. He's absolutely shattered. Barnsley have a free kick now. Phillips to take. He surely ain't going to shoot from there. So he'll probably try and float a ball over the top, I imagine. And he's found Anderson on the edge of the box. Who takes a long effort. Tadic. And we've blown it. We've thrown it away two games in a row. In injury time. What the hell is going on here? This is absolutely shocking, Pompey. I'm not happy in the slightest. And there it is. Full time. Barnsley 2. Portsmouth 1. We slipped down to fourth place. Terrible two games. I'm going to give the boys yet another roll up here. And chock in, mate. Really shocking. So, two poor performances and two disappointing results. Wasn't exactly what I had in mind for today's episode. But hey, football can be ruthless sometimes. Now, all that's left for me to do today is let you guys know when we'll be back for episode three. And that will be the Boxing Day trip to Exeter City, followed by Ipswich Town at home three days later. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, despite the poor results. And if you have, then please, guys, leave today's video a big like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss any future episodes. Now, that's it from me today. Until we see you in Exeter, play up Pompey. Enjoy the first week of your new year. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.